Welcome to my channel, this is Sam, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. So I think we can go for the Ranrock mission here. And I don't know if the game gets completed here. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone on another one of Binz's wild goose chases. Are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I have more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They pay filthy thieves to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. Story of she cricket. and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard her plot to enlist a gang of good for nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's where my other frame hung. Marvel of the place. No, I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rooms and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How much? Do it quickly though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go then. What are you up to now? 690 meters. It's quite far. Wait, can I fast travel? Oh, it's Hogwarts. It's out of Hogwarts. It's in Hogsmeade. So we got Harlow, we got uh, Victor Rokud, the uh, conspirators, uh, that those who are running here. Come. Only one guy remained, that is Landrock. I'll say it again. Can't thank the story of cricket. That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. 
They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. <laughs> Lovely chatting with you. Look, it's that far away. Surely it's very far. It's too far away. Huh? I have to fast travel, then I have to go through foot or room. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I should investigate. Rebellion.
Find and speak with Ferdinand in the ruins. Are to return you to the three broomsticks. What on earth do you mean? Never mind. It was just a thought. I would hope so. Now, the three broomsticks, please. They're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Take Ferdinand's time to the three broomsticks of the hog's head in. Wherever I go, I have to fast travel quite a bit. Is already like half embarrassed. Take me out of here immediately! You'll be sorry if I catch a flea! Are you listening to me? Get me out! You certainly made an impression. my reports to the headmaster. And I do hear quite a bit. Now, be off with you. I can't be seen talking to a student. Come on then, go! It's all right, everyone. I'm back. What 
Cooper. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Why is she glitching like that? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Mugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, left in front to protect me and in the process. I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you have a good soul. I can always tell. Please. Don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat, and be warned, she's a girl she may need some convincing to come with you I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat it sounds as if she's in trouble it's an you for again Hazel must be here somewhere. That is Hazel. Come on, Hazel. Oh, my God. 
Madam Bogbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. Side mission there. Beating a curse. See the end of the first Handy pen, resource I'm indeed, use your field guide. I'm most oh, pleased to be Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's, he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's, looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well... It is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets! How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly! He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Turning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Twenty-five minutes have passed. Yes, this time we have to go to the main mission. Ranrock. I don't think it's like Randrock. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place an anthers family crest on the sarcophagus there. It's not easy anymore. Oh, it's not easy. 
अपग्रेड के लिए बुला रहा है ओके तो अपग्रेड का चार से पाँच हज़ार ले लेते हैं वी कैन गेट एक्सपी फ्रॉम दिस फिफ्टी एक्सपी Talking about that, when I see first see Randrock, when I will first see Randrock in a fight, in a face-to-face -face fight, it's not nice. the first time that I use his Avada Kedavra. Yes, the first spell I'm gonna use is Avada Kedavra. I don't know if uh, the same thing happens with him, but that happened with Harlo. Oh, my feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start. Yes, Lord. Spell to kill a troll. Of what level I forgot. <laughs> A sarcophagus. This must be. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Come to Samantha. Come on, at least give me a challenge. is loading again but I can surely fight well Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants excellent I go to the gear section I have some useless gears so I will just destroy them Maybe I'm missing out on good loot, but I have no space, so I can't take it. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Confront them! I'm definitely there's a. Fight going to happen here or not? I don't know. My Avadabra is fully restored now. What is this? Is this some kind of symbol or something? Like this. That was just an in and out mission. The troll was just in my way. Just one shot in the troll. Eighteen more than eighteen. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. Hogwarts. 
First I will do that position and then we'll think about it. What is going on? At least I need 30 minutes for the main mission. I don't know. It's like a place right out of a storybook. That's why it was showing me that way. Come on, man. Just use the fast travel points. I'm happy to tell you that I returned across the Marmaduke sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more feet! Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. We are going for it. This commission Lenny Clevy Milko Kahaka Jana Perry.
Off on another adventure, are we? I can say so. Victor Rockwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivanders with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you alright? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. With Harlow in custody and Rookwood gone, the wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials, to ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered.
to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. Let's go.
creeps. These tunnels haven't brought us much luck so far. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. Castle's defensive charms. Stand up this way! We shall then quick work on them! Oh. They got this!
think I can use dark magic on this guys. Or maybe I can. Lodgok and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her, and the others, sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I plan to keep it secret for now, but in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, really like Ragnarok. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Seems you were too kind. She didn't know what to give up either. 